dream with me Let your mind explore All the things we were created for Possibilities and open doors Hey fam, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. I am picking up the camera. It's like after four o'clock. Um, I did a little work today and I'm actually editing a video right now. And in today's video, we will be folding some laundry. And then I just put a load in there. It's literally so stinking cold. Like, it's probably not cold for everybody else. I think it's like 60. And it's so windy outside. Um, let me show you guys. Uh-oh. I always do that, but it's so windy and brisk. And the clouds are right there. Like, it's literally ready to rain over here. Anyway, you want to come inside? Come on. Let's go. This one here. This one. Kobe. He act like he don't know how to listen until he get a pow pow on his bum. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Why are you playing with me? Now, if I said come get a treat, he'd have his butt in here. Come on, Kobe. Let's go. Mind you, he already walked. We have a big, we have like two, maybe three or four dog parks in here. And one, well, two are totally gated. Get your butt in this house. Two are totally gated where you take them in and let them off leash. So he gets to run around and he just pick up their business. Well, people need to start picking up the dog business. Don't let me get started on that. But anyway, they get to run around and play just like a backyard. Since we don't have backyards, we just have patios. Um, anyway, I wanted to jump on and say, hey, I need to figure out what in the heck I want to eat for dinner. I was just laying right here on this couch in um, I've been here for like an hour or so just laying down and I plan to be right back. Excuse me, Kobe. Um, I looked up y'all and I had like a few clips all, you know, that I always had like a video for you guys because I was steady recording, but I realized I haven't picked up the camera in like four or five days. So I'm like, I'm running out of videos. <laughs> to record so it'll be more in real time anyway um oh my goodness y'all uh I don't know what else we'll get done tonight because I'm really not in the mood to do much of anything like I said I gotta I was editing a video actually downloading it I finished editing the video so I need to see if that's finished so that I can get it up for you guys today um, anyway I don't have very much going on it's only halfway done anyway so still not ready yet still halfway so once that's finished I can start getting it ready to do the back end work and get it set up for you guys. Oh, let me give you guys an update on my plant babies because they are thriving up here. Um, so y'all remember all the drama with the big one and the, what was it, gnats? So I told you guys I got rid of Lily. And then I split Dorian into two. So now it's Dorothy and Dorian. And then I had Natalia, who started to be affected 
by the transfer of pots that I did not do it correctly because I think I put all of them in shock when I did all of that. So um, I put her in four separate pots and you guys, let me show you. Look how good they're doing. Like they're so green and so healthy. Those were the two and then the other two are over there. And there's Dorothy and Dorian and I think she's starting to get a baby right there. Um, I thought I saw a baby on her, but it's still super, super early. Like you can see the little bulbs right there get ready to come up. To be babies. This was a baby that just came out. Um, hold on. The other one has. Hold on. Let me go over this side. This one has a baby right here that's just about to do its thing. This baby here is finally starting to open. So. They are doing so good, guys. So, so, so good. That's not staying there. Brent and Ty were looking at the moon the other day, so I need to put that back. It goes in Ty's closet, but I just shoved it there because I don't know why, because I just did. <laughs> I can't wait to get started up here, but we got so many other projects. So what I decided I wanted to do up here is a whole built-in unit situation with a desk in the middle, bookshelves like floor to ceiling, even across the top, like a bookshelf, like a continuous, but the middle area would be open um, because I want to mount a computer screen in the front um, above the desk. And then continue like a built-in under the TV and stop like right around here. And then that under there can house whatever we need for the TV. And then this area will be, you know, Ty's homeschool space. Um, it can be whatever, but it'll just look so nice. And then I'm going to sell this big table. It's actually beautiful. It has four chairs it's quite i don't know how big it's showing up on camera but it's pretty big so i'm going to sell that transfer that to be the workstation and then all of this will then be open let me show you guys from this all of this would be open and gone and then against the back wall would be where the shelves are floor to ceiling the desk the computer screen mounted just it's going to look so nice and I'm thinking I'm going to pull the floor up here and do um laminate with the laminate floors or pergo haven't figured that out yet but I want to do that there and of course it was stop and if it's water resistant <clears throat> I may carry it into Ty's bathroom so I'm not sure there but you guys, this is literally the view that Ty gets when he's homeschooling. He gets to see like right out these windows. Like who could ask for a better view when you're in school? So pretty. Excuse me. Leave that alone, please. Anyway, wanted to give you an update on the plants. I'm super proud that they are doing well. I kind of put them up here and I was just like, this is like they last step before they go in the trash. But thank God I didn't have to put them in the trash. Um, oh, I did put a gate up here. Like we don't really keep Kobe from any parts of the house. As you can see, he's always in my queen room. However, when Ty is in school, what are you smelling for? When Ty, it's not time for you to eat yet. When Ty's in school, he'll go up there and bug Ty. So um, I went ahead and just installed this gate here so that I can keep it closed for him not to go up and bug Ty. But it's real easy. It just opens right here and you just kind of swing it open, leave it open if you want or close it. 
but I put it, hold on, I'm gonna turn it around, hold on. I put it right here, let me back up, because I don't wanna see it like in the living room. So if you're just standing here, you can't really see it. You can't see it anywhere except if you go on the patio or sit down somewhere on the couch behind me. But I just didn't want it seen, but I needed to have that separation for him. Why are you trying to open the door? You already went for your walk. Can you sit down? You have 30 more minutes before you EAT. I can't even say it because then he'll go right to the bowl. Um, Anyway, y'all just shut the thing off, which means you ain't talking about nothing, girl. So go ahead and hang it on up. All right, I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> y'all, I'll be back on when it's time to fold that laundry because I definitely need to get that folded. But for now, I just took some medicine, so I want to sit down, let that get a chance to kick in. Jay bought me this in addition, though, um, these tonic drinks that have THC in it, 10 milligrams of THC. So I'm gonna finish this off actually. This one is the fresh lime and the grapefruit. Um, I kind of drink just a little bit at a time. Uh, so it might take me a week or two weeks actually to finish one, but it's probably about this much left. Yeah, because I could feel where it's cold. So it's actually this much left in it. So I'll probably just try and finish that off now while I'm waiting for my other medicine to kick in. And then you guys will get to fold in some laundry. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner. Um, we might do a little bit of cleaning in this one because I told you guys I got to vacuum every day. Um, I got to put empty the dishwasher it's running a cycle right now so when that cycle's done we'll empty that put that away i wash this stuff up here so that needs to be put away yeah so there's just a few things that i need to do to tidy up um tomorrow i am going to go grocery shopping i don't think that's going to be in this video it'll be a separate video for a walmart grocery haul um, and maybe a shot with me. I don't know how that's going to play out, but, um, I did actually take down the Halloween decor. I was going to film it, but y'all, the wind was blowing. As soon as I went outside, some things had run down the street, the back walkway already. I had to run and get it. So it's just kind of one of those things where let me just do it and not even worry about everything I can't get on camera. And then I had a little scarecrow head. Oh, that you guys helped me decide where to put it. Um, if you were on that live, you remember the scarecrow head with the yellow hair and the orange nose? Well, where's he at? Him. Right there. He ate that already. I had put it inside. Not even thinking because, like I said, it was super windy. Everything was blowing away. So I was pretty much grabbing stuff, throwing it inside so that the wind didn't take it, trying to keep him from running and darting out the door. So it was so much going on that I was really just grabbing stuff and throwing it through the door. And, of course, in that interim, in the one minute that I had it in there, in between that and grabbing some other stuff, he ate it. So there goes that. He ate another couple pieces of Halloween decor. Um, I tried him being out for the first time while Ty and I went and got some Halloween candy for the trick-or-treaters. Y'all, Ty is not into trick-or-treating um, and I don't wanna force him. I asked him like several times, you wanna go, we can go, it'd be fun. And he's like, no, it's just kind of weird at this age. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm like, all right, well, hey to each his own he said but i do want some candy so we went to the store he picked out the candy that he wanted to eat and then we got some uh halloween candy um and so we got that and of course the borrows pizza and i think we might have been gone maybe an hour and i put a second gate up this one is a portable gate so i put that gate up um 
while we were going. So he was kind of just confined to the downstairs. Oh, he gets up on all fours. And because he's tall, he got on top of the buffet down there and grabbed the ho two Halloween decorations and ate those. He went over to our alarm keypad and was pulling that down off the wall. Um, my husband had a bottle of water on his table next to the couch. He grabbed that and bit that and spilled the water all over the place. So it was fun. But I have to say, he could have done worse. Literally, that was his first time. And I know they get separation anxiety. And I usually cage him. We got that big old cage. And I actually put it back in the living room. I don't know if you guys saw me take it. I put it back. I had taken it out. I think in the last video, you probably saw it out. I'm not sure. But I took it out and put the table back over there. But I put it back um, simply because he's not really caged unless like we go somewhere um, and like Ty's going to be here by himself. So I will cage him. Ty's very comfortable with him, but still I need a little bit more time under the belt. Um, Ty's in no way, shape or form scared of him and you see how he do him anyway. So. But for my peace of mind, I need to make sure that Ty is always first. So I just cage him. Um, but seeing as how Ty and I were going to be out, I figure he would get do the least amount of damage being on the first floor, which he did. He didn't do bad. I mean, I told you the things that he did do. But like I said, it still was just naughtiness. It wasn't totally like destructive. Those little Halloween things can be replaced. But he didn't chew anything of like value. Um, to me I'm down there. So everything was fine. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drink this Seltzer Wait for this to kick in and then we'll get started on some laundry. All right, y'all. I'll be back All right, y'all. I had to talk to my babies so Here's my plate. It's probably not the most appetizing to folk, but I love me some mustard cheese and turkey so I'm about to eat this and probably lie and say we'll do laundry next. Or maybe it just might be true. I have to speak it into existence. I have to believe in myself that I can do it and therefore it will be done. We're going to go with that and I'll see you in a minute.
25 oh i really don't want to hold his clothes but they're on the bed i just walked kobe took him for his last walk so he's knocked out ty is upstairs on his oculus you just saw me put away 
the dishes and the dishwasher and make the coffee for the next day. Oh, I need to um, set the programmer. We have it go off at 625 to make the coffee. I still need to wash the um, air fryer out. So I need to pull that. I like to wash it like every time I use it. So I don't have to be like, oh, I want to make something and uh, I got to clean it first. So I like to keep it clean with every use. So I'll do that. But y'all, I'm tired. So let's go ahead and get this laundry motivation doing. Y'all, look at this. This his boy, really. He need a job. Be nice. Wait. Oh, my Lord, y'all. Look at this. That's all he wants to sleep on. He always think that big thick old head should be on the pillow. So he'll dress back in a little bit and put his head on the pillow. He just wants this blanket. He's a little too hot for a bed right now. He's He gets hot so easy even though we sleep with air and the fan. But he sleeps right here next to mama over here. And we'll find, probably find him a bed again. He chewed up that one on live. So don't really know. I guess he don't really care for beds right now. But he'll lay on this blanket. Um, and he has his own blanket and his own pillow and he just fine. Like, you know, he's stressed out like he went to work today. So anyway, let's get with this folding motivation.
girl with confidence My girl we run like hips and take a sip on it Take a trip on it When a girl who can go slow Wind it up on night Baby take your time All right, y'all. Uh, you can see homeboy is not moving for me to vacuum. So I have to move him, go around him. Y'all, it'd just be some drama. But anyway, I'm going to do down these steps. And I think that's it. Finish putting those clothes away. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for doing some vacuuming, some laundry, a little chit chat, and the whole nine. Oh, I do got to clean out the air fryer too. So anyway, I'm going to get to it guys and I'll see you all in the next one.